I'll be calling you a radical. I want a record of this for this quackery. These I need a medical malpractice attorney. This is the most grotesque malpractice ever. So let's talk about it. I took videos, I have pictures. Now you remember last year, and I, I posted a video where I had the blood hanging out. I, I took pictures in here, whatever. So this is the quack. And so I came in here on July the 8th, severe bleeding. I, I, I nearly bled to death, for real. I lost so much blood, it was unbelievable. In the middle of the night, this is the closest emergency room. I got here and I was just severely bleeding. So they packed my nose and I told them, it's, I think it's my heart. Something's going on with my veins. I could feel it in the side of my head. My teeth are going black. They're like, on, they wouldn't even clean me up. I took pictures, I have video. They wouldn't even clean me up. Sent me out of here. So again, on August 1st, I'm back in here. I got so much severe pain in the side of my head. I mean, it was, I mean, unbelievable. In my gums, my teeth are turning black. In my heart, I can feel it in my leg, and I'm in here. And so, I come in here, and I says, "I want a record of this. I need a malpractice attorney because the state of Utah. Wow." So, I come in here, and I'm in there, and the, this guy comes in and sees me, and uh, I told him I could feel it in the side of my head. I think I could freaking have a stroke. And I mean, it's horrible. I think something's going on. He says, "No, no, we'll run a real simple blood test." And so he says he ran, he claims he ran a blood test, and he says, "No, nope, there's nothing wrong with you." And he came back in, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And then he looked right at me, and he says, "Well, we can't give you any pain meds." I says, "I never asked for any pain meds. What are you talking about?" And then there was a nurse in there, and she had a cancer sucks button. I says, "That's LDS." She says, "Yeah, I used to work there." So he comes back in, and he says, "Oh, oh, oh." Well, I talked to the nurse, and she remembers you from being in the bone marrow transplant at LDS. I says, yeah, I was fighting leukemia for a long time. I says, you know, I'm in severe, and I'm a tough, tough guy. Remember, I was in a bone marrow transplant center for, I mean, you don't, I mean, and I don't take pain meds. I mean, and so he says, there's nothing wrong with you. And I says, well, what is it? What is it? And he told me, go see your, your dentist. Go see your dentist. So... Anyways, time went on. I kept dealing with this, dealing with this, talking to you know anybody I could because I was uninsured because I exhausted all my insurance, freaking, and all my money in the bone marrow transplant. I had an AML leukemia. So finally I collapsed on Easter. Now, there's a statute of limitations here, but I meet it. So I collapsed on Easter in my yard. I thought for sure, and you know, there's videos I was telling people, there's something wrong with me. You know, when I'm traveling, I tell them, I can tell, I can feel it. I'm telling people, no one will see me, no one will treat me in this state because I'm out of insurance. And I, I mean, I forked over almost a million dollars to get into the bone marrow transplant center. And not on, I mean, what, how could a person with AML leukemia that forced over that kind of money not be on Medicaid? But not me, not in Utah, they denied me. And so, you know, less than one percent survival type of leukemia I was fighting. So I get in here, and so get this, they don't even clean me up. I took pictures after I left, just blood all over my face, whatever. And he, he says, no, there's nothing wrong with you. You need to go see your dentist. That's what he told me. So when I collapsed on Easter, April 16th, I made it to the McKay other emergency room. I went in there, I says, I think I'm having a stroke. I think I'm having a heart attack. And they hooked me up went in there and the one doctor was Dr. Stagg, who I know, and he's like, oh my God, Kevin, you know, and I told him, he says, no, 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 I'll get you in the system. That's the only reason I got in. And he got in me to see Sergio Collado. And Sergio Collado, I went in there and they put the, you know, ready for the stress test, he, simple, just real simple, put the ultrasound on me. And you could see the girl, she's looking, he comes running in and he says, whoa, is you need to be in a wheelchair right now. And he says, your aortic valve's completely collapsed. And I says, yeah, I've been trying to tell people this. You know, nobody will listen to me. What? And he says, whoa. So anyway, they went through my arm first. But anyway, as you know, the story, videos, lots of it. Emergency open heart surgery. So Collado, Dr. Connors did the surgery. Sergio Collado assisted, you know, and the whole team up there. I will, you know, their own words. I told him about this situation in the ICU. He says, that could have been repaired easily. He says, they could have went through your arm and repaired it. 
He says, that's got to be the most grotesque freaking malpractice I've ever heard of. So I call attorneys, they won't even talk to me. So in Utah, you have to go to them. So I went to them. They have a department here at Ogden Regional. I called them. I was real cordial. You know, I have her name and number here, right here in my wallet. I'll dig it out. Let me dig it out. So I have this. Let's get this. So we have a record of these liars. These criminals. Okay. Here it is. Her name is Jody. Okay, Jody. I called Jody and I says, by law in Utah, we have to try to work it out before. So I called her. She's says, I'll get with the team, I'll get with her. Then, you know, she called me back and told me, well, yeah, yeah, we, there's two visits you had here that, you know, went wrong, but, you know, you need to go after the physician. I'm like, what do you mean I need to go? Says, this is your unit. You gotta clean it up, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, and she, so, so I want a record that I did go to them by law legally. I, I went to them, you know, so I did everything I'm supposed to do. So my bill is almost $200,000. The hospital up there says, these doctors says, this could have been repaired for less than $10,000. And not to mention, he says, I don't know how you're alive. He says, that's the most simple, easiest diagnosis. He says, you mean to tell me you're using blood like that? Went in there. And I says, then I went back was, I had such severe pain in the side of my head. I, I mean, I'm a tough dude. And I'm like, I, I'm going to stroke out, I'm telling him. I'm like, it's my, I mean, you got to, oh, no, there's nothing wrong with your heart. We run it. That's his exact words. And the thing is, I have this nurse who knew me from there, who uh, was one of my nurses in the bone marrow acute transplant center that I was in, 2011, 2012, 2013. So I want a record of these quacks, you know, and so because there's no media, so I have to be the media. And there's no attorneys, nobody's going to support me. So I got to do this on my own, you know, so I'll file the litigation, I guess, on my own, because, I mean, a slam dunk case like this. Very sad. You know, I wonder how many other people they've murdered. You know, oh, I'm sure, but I'm sure they've murdered freaking hundreds and hundreds. Come in here. Stand tuned.